What is up, everybody? We're tree stand hunting Yukon. If y'all enjoy content like this and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and let's try to get 10 likes on this video. This is the class of weapons we have. We have the 300 AR, 308 Stalker, a 10 gauge shotgun, and a bow. So we got all around weapons. We're in a tr in my tree stand right now, waiting for caribou to come in because it's four to eight. It just turned four, so waiting for some caribou to come in. Hopefully they come in. There's something nice in the herd, but um, I'm I don't know what I'm gonna use first thing. I might use the bow or the shotgun first thing. Up close like this, I'll probably use the bow and the shotgun. Far away, I'll probably use the rifle. I did not know you can't put tree stands on the burnt trees. I was like, oh, look at all these good trees. I could put a tree stand on and hunt. You cannot. It is only the live trees with all the green, sadly. So I don't know where on this map I can put a tree stand. Maybe the, the, this pond too. But maybe only hunting this pond today. But if I could put it over here, I will. If I like go down here and look around, I will. And we'll try to do some... uh. Tree stand hunting all over the map, hopefully. We just gotta get lucky and able to put the stand on trees. We have a herd of caribou coming in. A level four, level three, female. A level five. But I don't think he's gonna be diamond. Because level fives troll most of the time. I'm actually gonna try to get two of them. Oh, did that female just walk in front of him? I was back behind me. That female did just walk in front of him. I was about to try to shoot him with the bow, and then I was going to try to get that one with the shotgun. Oh, come on. She has to step forward. Oh, he stepped forward. Please step from out from behind the tree. Stop right there. That actually might be a good shot. That looked like a good shot. Yeah, that was definitely a good shot. He did not go far. Now, I'm going to try for that one with a shotgun. What do I have in here? I have a slug in here. So, yeah, this should... Or not, I just don't know how to... Aim with a shotgun. I thought I would have got him with the shotgun, but they were a hundred out. I was there for one oh nine, so I thought if I put it straight on, it should have got him. We're gonna go ahead and claim the one with the bow. Nice level five caribou. Absolutely gorgeous. But he's definitely gonna be a troll. Yeah, they always troll. Four thirty. Yeah, it was just. A troll. I'm going to save Harvest because he's nice. And I took him with the bow. But yeah, he was 418. He topped all out. 430's diamond. He couldn't even made diamond. Really good shot with the bow, though. That was a beautiful shot with the bow. There is a level 3. Uh, He's 280. So I zero for 328 and aim a little low. Dropped him. Where and there's oh, there's a level four out yonder. Oh, that's gonna be a tough shot. Eh. I'm gonna use the three hundred. Nah, it's not gonna be a tough shot. Cause he's hit and he's going down. Yes, sir. All day long, man. That's awesome. If I go claim these two, then I'm going to move the stand. Oh, I can't move it because I have too many weapons. Well, then we're going to leave the stand there. And I am going to claim these guys up. We're going to change time to a different time and maybe get some other animals to come in, hopefully. But I'm going to go claim these guys up first. Because if we can get some moose or some other type of animals to come in that'd be pretty cool that would be pretty cool i'd like to take a, a moose out of the stand with the bow or 
or with the shotgun because I know slugs. Slugs can, yeah, slugs could take moose. They take up to nine. So that would be awesome. Hey, was that an albino? I kid you not. I think that's an albino. And we just found this zone. Um, I know I'm not in a stand. But... That is two of them down. I know I'm not in a stand. I'm sorry. But I was going to claim that guy. And there's an albino just there. So I had to take both of them. And then we're going to go back to stand hunting. Oh, that would have been cool to take out of the stand, though. That albino with the bow or with the shotgun. Man, that would have been awesome. Oh, I can't believe we got our albino. And y'all saw, I run in the corner, spotted. I've never had to spot this zone before. That is new for me. So, I didn't even know he was here. Yes, sir. Oh, there's a fox. We don't we don't want you, fox. Yep. Alpino level three. If only you were gold. If only say Oh no, I, I just got a straight taxidermy you. Man, that is awesome. Getting trophies. Now we gotta go claim this one. And then go claim the other two we got that we took out of the stand. I'm gonna go change the time. And ooh. He's a gold. Nice. That's absolutely beautiful. Now we're going to claim the other two. Change time. I might try to move the stand somewhere like right here. So we can see the whole pond basically maybe. Because if we can get a view of the whole pond. We might be able to take some better. Like see better. But I don't know. I, I'll wait and see. Here he, here he. Here's this one, which didn't really matter at all. Because I shot it with the 300, so yeah, it didn't matter. Go here. I'll probably go ahead and change time, because we know where that one's going to be laying at. And claim that one up. And here is this one. Also, we changed the time. It's 11.34. Moose drink time is... 12. Moose drink time is 12. So, why are you in that spot? Oh, well. So, we're going to get back in the stand and wait for Moose to come in because it is Moose drink tone, tone, zone. Comment down below what your favorite Yukon animal is. I think my favorite Yukon animal might be caribou. Oh, wolves too. I like hunting wolves. Wolf hunting is fun. I wish I knew what time wolves drank. Because I would try to hunt some wolves out of the tree stand. That'd be pretty fun. We're going to try to take him with the shotgun again. You're a hundred out. Do I aim? There. There we go. We aim there. He should go down. With the shotgun. We're going to give him some time to go down. And also wait for the moose to come in. If I had the scope for the shotgun. That would have been an easy shot all day long. But I don't have the scope. And I'm trying to iron sight it from 100 yards. Which is not very good. But we're going to wait for, wait for him to go down. And wait for moose to come in. He finally just went down. It's been about 3-4 minutes. It took him 3-4 minutes to go down. Come down. So he's down. We got to keep an eye on that, and now we're, we're, we're 10 minutes for moose to come in for our zones. Try to take a moose from in the stand. We got a big level 4 moose out here, about 100 yards. Big level 4 moose, 100 yards out. I think it's the first time I've shot a moose with the new 300 AR. I have not shot one yet with it. So, he's going down pretty fast. We're going to come down. 
we're going to claim him up. Then we got to track down that caribou we shot earlier with the shotgun. We got to try to find him also. He did go down. But it was terrible. But I hope we can find him. There's the blood to him. Oh, no, that's the blood to the uh, the moose I shot. Never mind. So I'm about to find the blood to the caribou and track him down. Here we are. 219 moose. Now I'm going to go back and look for the caribou. Here he is. Uh, I tracked him for a long time. Here, uh, up, lost the track, come here, then went back up, and then finally found him out here. I hit high. <laughs> of course I did. Of course I hit shoulder height. And that could have been such a good shot, too, but I had to hit high. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I hope I can catch y'all next one. Laters, everybody.